This morning, we take a trip back to TV's golden age in the 1950s and meet some of the child stars of that era. First up. Look, Beaver, how can you hypnotize a guy when he's soaking wet? Can I hypnotize you after you get your clothes on? Well, after I get dressed, I'm going out. I got kind of a date. With a girl? Yeah, she's sort of a girl. You know something, Wally? What? You're getting to be an awful wise guy since you started taking baths. <laughs> He played Beaver Cleaver's older brother on the classic sitcom Leave It to Beaver. Please welcome Wally Cleaver himself, Tony Dow. All right. Great to How see you. How you doing? How welcome, are you? Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. This is very, very cool. Well, this Next. Takes you back, doesn't it? Good, uh, yeah. How do you like nice TV, huh? I like it. You fit right in here. Next, you knew him as the little boy with the checkered shirt who always seemed to be in distress on Lassie. Kill it, Scratch. Jimmy, I think he's trying to tell us that Lassie is in one of the vans that just left here. No, Dad. Lassie. Oh, no, say it ain't so. Here's little Timmy Martin, John Provost, and the new Lassie. Hello. All right. <laughs> Good to see hey, you again. Hey. Good to Thank see you. you. Welcome, Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Come on in, Lassie. Come on. Lassie, <laughs> Timmy's okay. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm out of the well. <laughs> Donna Stone became the symbol of the perfect 1950s mother and housewife on the Donna Reed Show. Our next guest played her mischievous teenage son. Starting immediately, until your grades improve, you're coming straight home from school, you're going to your room, you're going to study. But what are the fellows going to do without me? Zach's car, the team, they need me. Well, they're just going to have to do without their peerless leader for a while. Do I make myself clear? I knew I should have got a lawyer. <laughs> Joining us is Paul Peterson, who played Jeff Stone. Hey, Paul. How are you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you again. Welcome, thank welcome, you, thank welcome. you. Hey, John Great Tony. to see you. This thank is you. so cool. <laughs> and finally, he played the son of TV's most famous couple, Lucy and Ricky Ricardo. Little Ricky Ricardo is all grown up. Keith Thibodeau joins us this morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, hey, come, come. This hey, is a morning. serious couch of 50s <laughs> TV. Flashback, flashback. Yeah. Lassie's taking a little snooze. Yeah. It's been a long day. Yeah. That's right. And this is what? Lassie number nine. Number nine. Okay. Tony, I want to start with you. All right. The single coolest guy. Well, maybe. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. In my, I look. Here. You were so cool. Was your life cool when uh, you were on the show? Do you want me to pop the bubble or what? Yes. <laughs> Tell us the truth. Well, I, it certainly wasn't as cool as. Uh, nobody was as cool as Wally. So yeah. it was a hard, hard act Why? to follow. We uh, you? Yeah. Was there any? Did any of it bridge over into real life? I mean, was it was well, it easy to go on dates or or? Uh, well, you know, I think the uh, yeah. the writers. Um, Took our personalities. You know, if, if uh, they'd have cast a guy who was a bookworm, Wally would have been the head of the debating team. I happen right. to be sort of athletic, so yeah. so I think then they, they turned around, they wrote yeah. the show to to fit our personalities. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there was well, a little bit of overlap. Yeah. <laughs> um, how you doing? Good. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> because you wrote a book. You were on not so yes. so long ago, and the funny title of the book is Timmy's in the Well, the and John I, Provo story. And <laughs> because Lassie <laughs> Lassie would come into a scene and Lassie would bark. And basically, you would interpret everything Lassie said. Oh, of course. Everybody knew. Well, the only reason we knew what Lassie said was because we had a script. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the bottom line. <laughs> and, and the amazing thing is, Timmy never did fall in a well. But yeah. that, that catchphrase, it's attached itself to me like a tick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paul, you've done so much work over the years, especially trying to recognize some of the difficulties that child stars have gone through through yes, the indeed. years. Through a minor consideration, yes. But in back in the day when you were on that show, how much fun was it? 
Oh, yeah, it really was fun. I mean, nothing wrong with being rich and famous. Uh, and, and, <laughs> or being and, Donna Reed's son. Well, it, it was so cool. And the show meant so much to so many people. And that's why I'm so tickled that it, for yeah. the 50th anniversary, right. that's this year, right. we finally brought the DVD back out. There you go. Keith, how was life for you on, on, on I Love Lucy? It was a trip. <laughs> no, it was it was it was a great uh, great honor to be on that show. I mean I mean you know you can't get any better than Lucy Ball and Desi Arnaz, mm -hmm. and um, you know just to be a part of that cast was an incredible. Experience. Well, we thank you all for joining us this morning and having this little reunion. Really, really great to see you all. Well, thank yeah. you.